morning. It is Sean's birthday and it's a beautiful sunny day so it puts me in a good mood. That was very jolly wasn't it? Hello, welcome to another vlog. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been an OG, welcome back. So today, like I say, it's Sean's birthday. It's been a bit of a hectic start to the morning. I'll take you into my makeup room and show you why. I've just done a bridal trial and it went really well and she looked absolutely sensational. So I'm buzzing from that. I was, um, hang on, let me move more towards the light. Um, I'm always really happy when bridal trials, nine times out of 10 they go really well. Um, but she just looked smoking, you know, and you're like, chef's kiss, can't wait to do her wedding. Makes me feel so, so good to do this job because I just love making women feel great. Anyway, so that room is like a tornado has gone off. Um, and now I'm just getting some bits and bobs together um, for Nala's birthday. I've had her mum, Chelsea, my one of my really good friends, message me being like, the cake's gone wrong. And if I have any inkling of how that feels, then it takes me back to Olive's birthday party when the cake that I did, you probably all thought it looked great and went well. I feel like it went really wrong. And there's nothing more stressful than like your child's first birthday, wanting everything to be perfect. For any children, you just want things to be good, don't you? And you want it to, to look good and everyone to have a lovely time and she's stressing. So she's like, please come help the cake. So we're gonna get everything together. Olive's napping, which isn't I ideal, um, cause she's gonna need a little bit of food before the party and then, we're gonna head off to Summersham Village Hall, where the party is, help her with her cake, um, get some lovely footage for her so that she's got some little memories of Nana's birthday, and then enjoy the party. Um, our friend did message us about going for a meal tonight for Sean's birthday. Um, we had a Chinese last night at home, because as most of you know that have got kids, anything after seven o'clock just doesn't happen anymore. So he was like, do you wanna go out around seven? I was like, she'll be in bed, so I don't know. I don't know what the plan is for tonight. Um, Sean's been packing his clothes for America. So that makes happy wife, happy life, because I think I've spoken in a vlog before, I get really stressed when Sean loves to leave things to the last minute. And I'm like, I want the bags packed a week before, so we know we've got everything. Like, this isn't just a little holiday, this is a big, like, military operation holiday. I know I'm uptight and I want things just so, but we've tried at Sean's Waste for many years now, and we always end up arguing because he's literally, the day before holiday, he's like, I've got an ASOS parcel coming tomorrow, and I'm like, oh, the day that we're traveling to the airport then? And he's like, yeah. And then he gets frustrated when he, he's like tracking the app, waiting for these swim shorts to come. And I'm like, you should have just done it sooner. So he's been an angel and he's gone upstairs and he sorted that. So I think he's halfway packed for Florida. Olive's bag is packed. Um, filmed that the other day for my channel. And yeah, we're gonna have a really nice day today, I hope. And then tomorrow, if it's a nice day like this, we might go to the beach or like a farm, do something. Because it's kind of like our last free weekend next weekend I've got a day of makeup, wedding trials and occasion makeup so this is really like the last free weekend so I'm gonna stop chatting on now because I can talk I can talk for England can't I and go and enjoy our day and go help my friend with her cake so she can actually enjoy her her daughter's birthday so come with me to stuff party food in my face we're off to the party Olive's in her gorgeous little outfit it's very warm should we show the vlog your outfit? Oh, it's a bit crunch. Oh, you've got your knickers showing. Cute little shoes from Next. Love those. I'll show your outfit off in a bit, okay? We're just gonna swap. Yeah, Daddy's there. It's gonna be so fun. Yay! Olive! Uh, <laughs> so cute. Olive's been on the bouncy castle. Have you been on the bouncy castle, Olive? You got your party dress on. So fun! She loves. Does she love the bouncy castle? Yeah. Loved it. Oh, there's a little slide over there, Olive. Some people have written books. Some have a great look that covers the magazines for kids who are 17. But I don't know what to do. Staring into the blue sky and just waiting for a sign Some, they are certain 
of what awaits them when it all ends. But I don't know what will happen to me. Will I be remembered in a century, or will I be forgotten like dust in a wind? This one's some buttons. Pass the parcel. Are you gonna stand on it? Uh, they lost my finger there. Sitting the way of everything. Olive, is it good? You're having fun. Wow. Good morning. I'm coming to you looking very tired and there's no reason for it other than staying up too late and watching Jill Halfpenny um, series. Still haven't found my tripod so I'm trying to crouch down. <laughs> I need to sort this out because it's just not professional in the slightest and it's not fun to watch. Um, it's Sunday morning. Like I say, we stayed up really late last night. It was Sean's birthday watching Jill Halfpenny. Um, series we've watched the um, what's it called cuckoo cuckoo and then we we were like oh we're still not tired so we then watched coma which has not got Jill Halfpenny in it but um, it was also good so we were awake and now I've woken up and I feel very hay fevery this morning <clears throat> very hay fevery and also just puffy so I'm realising I'm not looking my best. So what does Tiffany do? She gets the camera out. Um, I'm using my sunglasses as a, I haven't done my hair yet, so please don't judge. <laughs> using them as a bit of a hairband because I can't find the hairband. Um, did my eyebrows a little bit differently today because I can't find my eyebrow brush. So I had to do it using um, a different brush, which is much smaller, which means it's a lot softer. I kind of like it. I feel like it's not so Disney villain. Like, I don't like my eyebrows. A lot of people like them and say they're nice, but I'm like, I feel like they're a bit much. Um, I haven't finished my eyelashes. I'm gonna do those on camera with you. Um, so what I tend to do is, you sing in, Sean. He's singing, I'm vlogging. It's, it's a great mix. Anyway, I put on a half lash. I cut them in half, put on a half lash. Um, because I can't stand when the band like starts pinging and that will happen a lot like in hay fever season so I'm like no not today Satan <sighs> oh revitalize me um so yeah I've got those on and then I stick on I'm telling you this because somebody asked on my Instagram post for a more detailed explanation and then I've got these 10 millimeter like built clusters you can get them like from boots or whatever these are not from boots um and then i'm just gonna put some glue in the tray and then just put little singles on so yeah hopefully that'll make me look, look less tired as well honestly i just i miss the days when i used to wake up looking like not puff, pop puffy puffy and just fresh i feel like they don't happen anymore is it because i'm getting closer to 40 I don't know but yeah I was just saying I think I'm going to change my dress today so haven't done a proper introduction have I we think we're going to go to the coast today to sunny honey not 100% sure because I need to have a you know a business meeting with Sean about it to see like what we fancy doing and um, obviously it was Sean's birthday yesterday we were at um, Nala's first birthday party just pulled that lash off so we didn't really do anything for his um, except come home and watch documentaries and TV series. So I guess what it's, you know, whatever he wants to do today, um, which is probably sing. Um, sing songs that I have no idea what they are. His favorite one to sing at the minute is, you've got to taste the cool egg by the jug. I think it's Bring Me The Horizon. It's driving me nuts. Cause he just sings the same line over and over and over again anyone else's husband do that but yeah i'm just dropping these little single ones in as you can see like just to build up a bit of a full lash and like i say then you don't have a band or anything like that and then when they're dry i can have a little jiggle around with them 
but yeah i just feel very puffy today very oh i'm sure i'll get over it <laughs> so we can enjoy a nice vlog but yeah i don't think it's quite warm enough for this dress this is not ironed yet but you know you just shove something on from the shower i was like i need something to wear um i think i'm just gonna put on which you're just all gonna laugh at because all over wear i've got about five of my polka dot dresses i don't wear the same one every day trust me um just because i really like how it makes me feel i feel like it's a nice fit um it's like can be dressed up dressed down so i might shove my polka dot one on or a black dress because they've got longer sleeves so i feel like i'm not going to be so cold at the beach because we all know when you get down by the coast it gets hella windy um saying that the option is there to go to sackwell farm as well which is in where did i just drop that <laughs> they normally end up in my hair somewhere oh god oh there it is oh my god idiot there we go if this is a reflection of how the day is gonna go then maybe we should just stay home but um yeah we've only got a few more weeks till florida so we really should be like staying in doing nothing but i just have this feeling at the minute where i'm like life is short you should just enjoy yourself and yeah i just feel like when the weather's nice we've waited so long for nice weather to come and now it's here i'm like i want to get out and do things and obviously like i say it is sean's birthday weekend and i feel like if we stay in and do nothing it'll just be a bit rubbish so yeah um are there enough lashes Mm, probably show you a little bit up closer do you know what i mean it's a bit more of like a natural um look to false lashes i can't go anywhere without my false lashes it's just not gonna happen um, i'm still avoiding putting color on my lids at the moment i put a little bit on yesterday and i feel like that might account for why i feel a bit puffier in my eyes today but i just absolutely hate like have, i think i mentioned yesterday hate having no color on them i just feel so naked let me just try and rebalance you on here probably gonna go wrong stay i think i'm gonna pop some like creamy liner in my inner eyes but i get you words that too you can tell i haven't had a full cup of tea yet um because again i just feel very bare very very bare where's my little sharpener um and like red and inflamed today so anyway what are you up to today what are you doing? Um, I think I'm going to be sad to take this green dress off, but honestly, I think I'm going to regret it because if we do go to Sunny Honey, I want to go on that little like shark boat thing. Every time we go to Sunny Honey, I always see it and we never get to do it. I think like the wait line is too big. Um, the wait time, sorry. And we never ever do it. And I want to do it. I've always wondered what it is. That's a little bit better, isn't it? Oh. I feel like this makeup segment's just been one big get ready and moan with me because I don't like how my face looks today. <laughs> but hey ho, it's all about enjoying ourselves, right? And we're gonna have a lovely day. Whatever we do, I just need to wake up a little bit. It's very early, it's, it's still seven o'clock, so need to wake up, need to de-puff, <laughs> sort my hair out, whatever I'm gonna do. It's, it's um, day two. And um, I have very, very, very oily hair. And a lot of people can go like a week without washing theirs. And I'm like, I literally get a day of it looking good. And then it goes to this with like oily roots. So I might just make like the sunglasses part of my hair look. Or I might do half up, half down. But I feel like that's all I do lately. So yeah, I'm going to stop sitting like this. And I'm going to end up like a little hunchback. I'm going to ask Sean to help me find my tripod because it's somewhere. It is somewhere. And then we can get on with our day and have a lovely day out as a family. So come along with us. Miss Olive's hair salon. She absolutely loves. Should we take your binky out? Thank you. <gasps> Spray <Spread> Rosemary. <laughs> <It's so fun. laughs> Honestly, she has got the curliest, wildest hair. You are live. John, would you just turn that lamp on? Um, lamp, light on. Right, I think we're going to go for something different today, Olive. <laughs> Space buns. It's the same every day because mummy is usual. Oh, hello. I'm just, we're just gentle. 
Coleman. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy is rubbish at hair, isn't she? She's not very good, so we just get the one hairstyle. But it's okay, it suits you, doesn't it? It suits you. Oh yes, so put these in little space buns and then we'll put some little bows in. There we go, one. Let me have that. And our mummy's battery's running out. Oh goodness me, it's like history repeating itself all over again, isn't it, with everything. Yeah, you wanna play with everything, don't you? Two little space buns, we're gonna look so cute. Oh, is that brush? Ta-da! <laughs> baby Spice! Say, Baby Spice! Are you gorgeous? Where's your little bows that Mummy made you? I make these little hair bows as well. I think most of you probably know about that already. Put some bows in. Jazz it up. And then we're ready to go. We still don't really know if we're going to the beach or Sacro yet. Can I put this? Yeah, Daddy's walking past. Can I put this in? Oh, wow. Look at that. Isn't she lovely? <laughs> yes. Isn't she wonderful? <gasps> You're beautiful. Wow. Oh, hello, everybody. Olive's giving you a tickle. Tickle, tickle. <laughs> Ooh, oh, now we're going in her mouth. Right, I'm not having this. Every time she sits with me, she wriggles, jumping on me. With Daddy. Wow, look at her. Olive, are you a monkey? Are you naughty? Yes, look at you, you little cheeky girl. How are you so relaxed with Daddy? Hmm, we still haven't left yet because we're still debating between beach and go and see the animals. So, I'm less puffy, less moany, still got... <laughs> less moany, come on. <laughs> you know, do you know what, me and Sean, I've been really grumpy with him this morning because he's not been able to make his mind up about where he wants to go. Like last night, I was just constantly like, where do you want to go, where do you want to go, where do you want to go? Wouldn't tell me. You can pop your head in, Sean. If you're going to put little tidbits in, welcome to the vlog. Come on. He has to sit in the back because his legs are too long to go in front of Ollie's car seat. Anyway, Sean, pop your head in. Come on, birthday boy. Birthday weekend boy. So yeah, like last night I was like, where do you want to go? Where do you? Couldn't make his mind up. And then this morning, we were all set to go to the beach and then he suddenly goes, oh, I think it's too cold to go to the beach. And I'm like, well, he's just woken up, she's grumpy. So we've ended up at Sackwell Farm. So, oh dear, it doesn't seem, it seem like I'm the only one that's moody as well. Um, she's gonna blow! <laughs> so yeah, we've come to the farm. Don't know how long we'll be here for because I don't know how much like actually Olive can do, but it feels nice to just get out of the house, do you know what I mean? And do something. Um, with my indecisive husband and grumpy child. So anyway, we're gonna have a lovely day. And we haven't decided where we're gonna go for lunch. So that'll be another like 10 minute argument about where we're gonna eat because Sean won't be able to decide. <laughs> um, oh, his, his back's hurting now. Anyway, yeah. Are you having fun, Olive? We're gonna get out of the car now and go and enjoy some lovely English weather. That's giving me hay fever. What have you actually had for breakfast? Uh, porridge. Oh, you have? I was going to say, I think that you're moody because you haven't eaten. That's usually Sean's, you know, party trick. Don't eat in the morning and then be like, I'm cold, I'm hungry. He's already got his um, hoodie around his waist, moaning that it's too cold. Honestly. <laughs> Honestly. Just because anyway. the sun's out doesn't mean it's hot. Well, it's lovely. It's a lovely day. Anyway, it's better than being staying in, doesn't it? Excited to be out and about. I can't even see if that's in focus. <gasps> Are you in shot? Yeah, I got your piggy blanket on, ready for the farm. I'm gonna have any fun anywhere. I hope there's some piggies here. Good 
thing about coming early as well is like being able to film everything without the fear of like getting other people's children in it. Look how good it is here. Wow, Liv. This looks good, doesn't it? Wow, someone's got excited feet. <laughs> It's a good park. It's a good play park. Oh, and over there I can see the tractor that we put William and Florence on all those years ago. You're gonna go on the zip line, Sean? Yeah? Yeah? Acts like it doesn't bother him. <laughs> He'll be terrified. Seesaw! Oh my god, does that remind you of Adra and Tom yeah. when you're bouncing on the Bowen Chester? I mean, it's not as good as the ice cream um, farm that we went to, is it? It's not as good as that, and we miss Andrew and Tom so much, don't we? Yeah, see them soon. Some people that put their faith into someone who's left their age, reading from a torn out page from a book filled with lies. But I don't know what to do. And they've got their little bridge and their little streams with goody poo sticks. <laughs> it's just so gorgeous. I want to live in a mill, please. Thanks. Sean said Andrew and Tom would love it here. There's Andrew's throne. He's trying to do a funny. And they said there's a peacock down there. And I was like, where? Just like chilling out. Don't know if you can spot it on camera. <laughs> but this is just such a nice little area to like, if you bring a picnic or anything like that. I think we're going to try and find a stick and throw it off a of poo. Poo brig, are you poo sticks? Are you a poo stick? Are you a little poo stick? Anyway, we're on a quest to find the pigs because obviously my favourite animal. Um, yeah, poo sticks bridge. Although where the sticks are, I don't know. So, <laughs> have you got a poo stick we could use, Olive? <laughs> Sky and just waiting for a sign. Some they are certain of what awaits them when it all ends, but I don't know what will happen. Is on the forage for some sticks, and we are making ourselves familiar with the rules because it's very important. Have you found two sticks? Are you gonna? Oh, Sean, he's found a branch that he's gonna make two sticks. Make sure they're fair. Because I will be. Yeah, fair. Um, you're not very fair with games like this. We're both Aries, which makes us both competitive, right? Which which stick are you having? Uh, I don't have one. No, I, I want the bigger one, right? The bigger one is mine. So we've got to drop our sticks. Ready? One. No, both sides. <laughs> right. One, two, three, go! Olive, whose stick is gonna win? Where's our sticks? Oh my god, they haven't even made. Oh, mine, mine, my mine. Ah, mine won. Where's yours? Mine already gone past. No, it hadn't. Mine won. Oh, I think yours got stuck somewhere. It hasn't. Oh, it hasn't even come through. Oh, that was a fail. Oh well, I'm the winner. You have to buy me ice cream. Oh. Hey, Piggy. Is he funny, Olive? You're not sure, are you? <laughs> Come on, pig. Hello. Hello. Wah, wah, wah. Is he funny? Is he a funny little pig? I think he's a big pig. The one over there. Oink, oink. Where? The one in the... Sleeping. The other one, the sandy one. Yeah, they're not... Most of the animals are just still asleep. <laughs> I think we've come too early. Wait, is there any more piggies? We want to see some piglets, didn't we, Olive? Piggy wiggies. He's going back to sleep. He's like, not today. Thank you. We found them. I feel like, I feel like the animal side of things is a little bit of a feel. I think we've come a bit too early and I don't think there's an awful lot of animals here, but the adventure playground and the indoor play, soft play area looks really good. So I think we'll go do that. Um, and that should set us on a good time to pop like, back the way to Peterborough and go get some lunch or something like that and um, yeah it should be quite nice but I am enjoying how quiet it is because now whether that's like just sign of the times cost of living thing and this is just how things are now I don't know but um, 
I just feel like normally when you do these things, it's just so rammed. It actually puts me off. I don't know if anyone else is the same. Like, I don't like going places that are just too rammed and busy. Whether that's because I like to vlog and actually I feel so much more comfortable when no one's around, I don't know. But, um, yeah, it's just not, isn't it nice just to come somewhere and not just be heaving? Yeah, yeah, it's Yeah, it is lovely. Um, so I'm not mad that we came this early, but obviously all the animals are asleep, so. I don't know. I don't know what's for the best sometimes, but um, yeah, we're going to go enjoy the playground because it looks like they've done loads of amazing things with that since we've last been here. When when did we last come here? I think it wasn't William like six. Probably yeah. So it must have been like seven, six, seven years ago. So a lot has changed. Um, so yeah, don't really know what I'm rambling about, but I just thought I'd come on and like have a little chit chat with you. Otherwise, this vlog's going to be very short. Come to see the hay. I thought we had a goat coming to see us, but he's just going for the hay. Hello. Hello. So like, leave me alone. That one's enjoying a nice little slip. I've just, oh no, I've just put my toe on stinging nettles. Oh no! <laughs> Childhood flashbacks. <laughs> oh no, that's gonna sting, isn't it? Funny enough. I think we're too used to, obviously when we go to Florida, they let you like comb and stroke them all. So I think we've been spoiled, so we're like, oh, I want to touch them. You can't. <laughs> they don't let you in the UK, do they? Can you not smell goat's cheese? Don't you think goats smell of goat's cheese? Because I do. I definitely do. I can smell it. Welcome to your first ever waltzer. Mummy's got to push you now. Wee! Hold on tight, riders. <laughs> Scream if you want to go faster. Olive, is it good? Oh, wait, Sean's sick. <laughs> Too fast. Wow. Is that good? <laughs> she doesn't look very impressed, does she? Oh, she looks riveted. <laughs> That's my kind of maze. Look at the cheese maze, Sean. <laughs> Absolutely. I would never come out. <laughs> Do you want to go on the swing? Wow. Going to bring you on the swing. Here we go then. Wow. Okay. Go on the cheesy slide. It's a little mouse's cheese slice. Whee! Just have to put it at the bottom. You can come down. <gasps> go on then. Hello. Hello, little Olive. Is it good? Hello. Hello. Oh, where are you going? Where's Olive going? <laughs> What's that? Uh oh. <laughs> Olive, come. Olive cam. This looks more olive size. I feel bad about putting her in the big one now. Are we going into a mini swing? There we go. Wow, ready? Wee! She's a bit scared. Are you a bit scared, Olive? Aww. She's scared too. She's alright. I'm just trying to find out. Wee! <laughs> Roly poly, Mrs. Tumbles. She's like, get me to the soft play now. Time for a little snack break, isn't it? It's getting a bit rowdy in here because there's a kids' party on. Nice and juice. We're just seeing if Sean's mum and dad want to join us for lunch. We're not sure yet, are we? We're not sure. Good girl. <laughs> you were being cute lying on your little elephant a minute ago. You gonna cuddle him? Hello, baby. Let's sing together. Hey. Do your ears hang? Do they wobble to and fro? Can you tell 
so nice. My um, already thinking about this apple and biscuit pie. What the hell? We've custard. Mmm. No, I'm a fluffy girl. No, I love their ice cream. But maybe I'll get Olive some toffee apple ice cream and then I can eat some, get the best of both worlds then. On steak and Guinness pie. We've got some truffle chips with Dutch mayo. And then we're just waiting for the other bits, aren't we, Olive? Thanks. So nice. I know. Thank you. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. Yes, yeah, thank you. you very much. Okay. I went for the bang bang chicken, having me fries. Oh. Olive, you've got some cauliflower cheese. She ate all of it. She ate all of our ice cream. Yeah. This to that is so good. Of an apple, perfect combination. Olive is loving her ice cream. Are you gonna have some pie, Olive? Do you want some custard and apple? Oh, Olive, look. Mm. She's like, No, I want my ice cream. Thank you. Now I've got myself an appetizer and mm, so thirsty honestly. Don't know what I'm gonna be like in like 30 degrees of Florida heat. And also I thought I'm gonna Sean's just um got the patio ready for me. I'm gonna do I'm gonna make a start on this jigsaw. I made a start on one the other day and then realised it was panoramic. So it was like really long and it didn't fit on my mat. So I donated that to my friend Gemma to do with her children. Because I do not have space for that. I'm going to go sit in the sunshine, get some vitamin D and enjoy doing my puzzle. Because I'm old and crusty and that's what I like to do. Right, I have got all of my edges. Well, I say all. The most that I could find. So I'm going to begin. I still can't see what you can see in the camera. Hoping somewhat that this is in focus but we're gonna get going right i'm gonna go in because it's starting to get a little bit chilly we're getting more clouds and sunshine now but i've almost managed to do all of the edge um, so I just need to carefully carry this in and next sunny day I'll be continuing all of permitting I'm probably gonna leave the 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 the, the vlog the vlog there guys because I'm gonna go in now get warm because I'm a little bit chilly and sort a little bit of like a picky dinner out because we've eaten so much today I don't think we really need anything but obviously Olive needs feeding and then it will be a bottle bath and an early bedtime for Olive because she has not had two naps today. She's had two days in a row of just one nap. So that's not a pan I want to get into. And she must be absolutely knackered. So I'm going to sign off here and hopefully, with a little bit of luck, I might be able to get this edited and put up the same day so that you can enjoy it tonight. Anyway, thank you for joining me. Oh God, the sun's come out again and started blinding me. Thanks for joining me. I do appreciate you so much. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.